Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bourbon Adventures. On today's episode I got two bottles of uh, Penelope. I have the Architect, which is straight bourbon finished with French oak staves. And then we have the Barrel Strength blend of straight bourbon whiskey with corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley. The Barrel Strength comes in at 116 proof and the Architect is 104 proof. I don't know a whole lot about Penelope. I picked, uh, actually picked this bottle up today and I got this one a couple weeks ago. I have tried this one, but I've never tried the barrel strength. So just looking quick on their website, um, the architect is, uh, it's a collaboration from France, uh, with the oak, uh, staves that are placed in the barrel for the finishing. Um, the aromas, they say it's sweet candied cream, hints of floral and cream brulee. <laughs> uh, they f it finishes with uh, rich vanilla, a lot of vanilla is what they're saying in floral. The barrel strength, um, I haven't read too much about this one. This one it shows that it is for the nose, caramel, maple syrup and sweetness. Forward smooth caramel, brown sugar, subtle char, and hints of butterscotch. And the body and the finish is uh, cinnamon, slight maple, and a spicy cinnamon at the end. So we're gonna give them a try and see if we like them. I'm gonna pour these into the glasses here. I said I haven't had the barrel strength, which I do like barrel strength typically, so hopefully. So we'll try the Architect first, like I said. According to their website, the sweet cream, candied cream and floral. Yeah, you can definitely pick up the, the cream creamy anyway. I don't know if that's, I think this is a uh, four grain. I'm not real sure. Doesn't really see on here. It does say on the back that it's aged four years and this is build number eight. And then the uh, on their website it says five years, but this bottle actually says four. I know this is an MGP product out of Indiana. Definitely get the French uh, sweetness, oak. A lot of vanilla. Yeah, it's creamy on the nose and then you get the vanilla on the, on the palate. It's pretty good. It's got a little heat to it. I mean, 104 proof, it's not going to be super high, but it's not that low, low uh, proof either. So I think the proof point is really good on it. It's got just a touch of spice to it, but not overpowering at all. I do like the vanilla on the, on the palate. You get that creamy that transfers from the nose to the palate is creamy. All right, we're gonna try the get some water. Try the barrel proof. Which if the camera was rolling earlier, I was getting this all set up. We almost didn't try these bottles because I tipped them over and they fell on the floor. Thankfully they did not break because <laughs> I would have been really upset with that since I just picked this bottle up maybe two hours ago. All right, so let's see what this one says. We have caramel, maple syrup, and sweetness. 
and see how correct they are. Oh yeah, definitely get the caramel and the maple. Definitely uh, doesn't, it's not as creamy as the Architect. I don't know if uh, it's the proof that you can smell. And you get some sweetness there. Definitely don't get the vanilla like you do on the Architect. Oh yeah, you definitely get the brown sugar and the caramel on the on the um, palate also. It's a lot sweeter than this one, and then being what I say is 116. 116 proof. Actually, I think this one might taste just a touch hotter than this one. Yeah, it's almost got like a like a dusty smell on with also with the caramel and maple syrup. Yeah, they say you get a little bit of cinnamon. I get a touch of cinnamon. I don't get, it's not up front cinnamon. I get more of the maple and the brown sugar. I get a touch. I get butterscotch. But it's not a creamy, creamy butterscotch. It's like barely there. It's good. I don't know, really know if I prefer one or the other. This one's just a creamy, it's just different. Where this one, it's more your typical bourbon, I think. So I'm guessing the, the French oak staves that they put in the barrels, that's what kind of makes it. Which I like the different, I don't want them to be the same because otherwise I don't need to have two different bottles. But no, they're good, I think. I believe, well I just picked this one up today, so I know this one retails for $69.99 and I believe I paid either $49.99 or $59.99 for this one. I can't remember exactly, but $50, $60 range. I mean, it's pretty typical for a lot of your bourbons these days. Yeah, it's definitely creamy, really creamy. If you guys uh, want to drop any comments, let me know what you know. What bottles would you like to see on the channel? Which ones would you like me to review? I've been wanting to do some hunting videos, but I've been really, really busy at work and just haven't had time to do anything. This is like my only day off I've had in uh, close to three weeks. So I'm going to film and get this video out. Make sure we stay consistent on getting the videos out. And, but I'm not picking a winner or anything like that. It wasn't a head to head. It was more of just, a, hey, these are the two bottle, newest bottles I bought and let's give them a try. I like trying a bottle for the first time on camera. And actually it's kind of cool that you get to share that with everybody. But it's really good. Uh, I, really, I would recommend picking these up if uh, you like the touch higher proofs. Um, this is a creamy one. This is more of your straight bourbon taste with the caramel and the maple brown sugar, stuff like that. A little bit of cinnamon. I don't get as much cinnamon as they claim, but I'm no expert. So with that being said, hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I put out a new video. Alright, so everybody, with that being said, everyone grab your glass, raise it up, and remember, it's not all about the whiskey. It's about the memories shared, 
and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you.